Yo! What is up, you guys? Mamba Gang, Mamba Army, Laker fans, Kobe fans, basketball fans, and just everyone around the world. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome in, man. Uh, channel related to Kobe Bryant, the late Kobe Bryant, the Mamba mentality, man. Uh, just want to give you guys a rundown of what I've caught. I'm going to make this video short because I know all my videos are usually like past 10 minutes. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a rundown, a quick show of what I've copped within the last three to four weeks. Uh, it has been one shoe, one Kobe shoe at least. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick look of it. Maybe a little bit of uh, on feet, sizing information, all that good stuff. But yeah, man, I just want to say, man, thank you to everyone, man, that has been supporting me with the last couple of months, man, on here, on Instagram, on TikTok. Um, all the feedback, all the criticism is always something, uh, 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 an opportunity for me to grow, man. And, you know, I'm still learning a lot, not just on social media life, but just throughout life itself, uh, whether it's at work, at home, with family, with friends, financially, emotionally, um, physically, you know, trying to get better each day, uh, you know, and that's, that's the thing, man, and I always emphasize this on this channel, and I apologize if you're tired of hearing it, but you're gonna hear it a lot in this channel, is to always practice that mama mentality, man. Getting better, getting stronger, get, becoming a better person each day, man. Um, you know, and no matter what, stop listening to what people are gonna say about you, uh, the, the, the criticism, the judgment, the people that are holding you back, whether it's friends, family, you know, co-workers, whatever it is, man, just keep fighting. Uh, again, remember, there's one clock that never stops, stops ticking, and that is the clock of life. And understand that you only get one of those. You only get one lifetime, man. And, you know, why waste it? Doing something stupid, making bad decisions, hanging out with the wrong people and all that, man. So, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, man, it's all on you. You know, learn from your mistakes and just grow, man. Just grow, grow, grow. Try a new hobby, take a risk, ask that girl out, apologize for, to someone, don't have that prideful, you know, um, attitude, you know, towards life, towards someone and stuff like that, man. But yeah, man, with that being said, let's get into it. As you guys can see, I have a couple of boxes right behind me. Give me one sec, I'm gonna put the camera down and we'll get right into it. All right, you guys, let's get into the video. This is a shoe that I copped, like I mentioned, about three to four weeks ago. Um, it's not a shoe that I was necessarily looking for, or not looking forward, but looking for. Um, I'll, I'm randomly on eBay all the time, man. Maybe two, three, four days a week I'm on eBay. I just, you know, type in Kobe, you know, seeing what the search is going to pop up. And, you know, if there's something that catches my attention, I end up making an offer on it. Uh, so that's what I did here. Um, this is a shoe that I made an offer on. It was highly priced, of course. I made an offer. Um, you gotta understand some of these sellers you know they price stuff high but they sometimes need the money or they want to get rid of the shoe right away so they'll you know kind of counter offer or they'll work out a deal with you and this is exactly what happened with this shoe man so don't be afraid i mentioned in my last video where if you guys haven't seen my video of how i buy my kobe's how i purchase my kobe's nowadays go check it out man uh but with that being said let's get right into it man as you guys can see Wait, you know what? First of all, I want to mention I had to throw on this shirt right here. I got this from a buddy of mine. If you guys are interested in some of, uh, something like this, let me know. I have a guy that uh, I've been kind of talking with, maybe trying to partner with as far as making some merchandise. It is some quick merchandise. He has, I believe he has a screening company. Uh, so he's been trying, he's been screening out some, some shirts for me, like something like this. So uh, yeah, you know, what I mean just kind of representing more of that Colby mentality and stuff like that uh, But yeah, let's get into it, man. So as you guys can see it is that OG uh, Mamba Kobe box black Nike box with the yellow trim right here uh, that Mamba Kobe logo right at the top and Let's see what the label says. So it does say Nike zoom Kobe one Nike zoom Kobe one prelude Yes, you guys, this is the Kobe One Prelude. Uh, very beautiful shoe, nonetheless. Um, as you guys already know, man, if you guys are my OG subscribers that have been here rocking with me since the beginning, you understand that 
the Kobe Wood model has not always been my favorite because of, it, of its bulkiness. Um, I think I'm more acceptive, as, acceptance, acceptance, is that is that right? I'm more accepted, uh, I'm more accepting. I think I'm accepting more the fact that this shoe is bulky, but the reason I was not a big fan is because when it originally came out, you know, years ago, I used to be more of a skinnier guy back then, so this shoe looked terrible on me. I had skinnier legs, I had a skinnier body frame, and that's why this shoe kind of looked goofy on me, but now, I think it looks better. So I think the Kobe one is not as bad as I thought it was back then. And uh, yeah, man, um, I ended up purchasing this, purchasing this shoe for around, or not around, but I think around 560. Yeah, for 560, through eBay now let me know what you guys think man I know there's a lot of people out there that especially the way the Kobe market is and the shoe market overall right now um, let me know how you guys feel did I pay too much did I get a steal Did I pay fairly check its condition out it is not brand new but to me it is very clean um, take a quick look at it the only thing I saw as far as the flaw if you want to call it that is that toe box creasing which would happen within like the first to second use man um, but there's nothing on the top upper of the shoe as far as flaws there's no there's no stains no rips anything like that beautiful shoe nonetheless man and like I mentioned this is not a shoe that I was going for or looking for at all it just popped up on the on the search engine and you know what I decided to make an offer and now here it is in my hands so uh, yeah man this is part of the prelude pack now talking about the prelude pack we know the Kobe 6 prelude is going to be releasing this year I mean according to all the the sneaker pages right but man that pack out of all the packs back when Nike basketball was at its peak is probably my favorite pack ever i think that pack just because i love the crazy colorways how loud it was um that pack is just amazing man and who knows if nike's just gonna release the kobe 6 um or if they're gonna release any more going forward i don't know why they didn't release maybe the kobe 4 kobe 5 um who knows man maybe they'll come back but man beautiful that pack nonetheless man as you guys know, those every every one of those shoes in that pack nowadays is going over for like a thousand dollars brand new. If you go on eBay, uh, StockX, or Gold right now, any of these shoes from this pack is above a thousand dollars any size. So I thought it was okay, or I mean, a, a good deal at five sixty to buy for this to purchase this shoe for. Um, look at the soles. Let me show you guys the soles of both shoes, just so you guys get more of a feeling. Of how clean this pair was or is I should say but yeah man 560 for this condition man I would pay that anytime and, and it took a little bit of of ne ne negotiating man it wasn't like an offer I just threw out and he accepted right away um, but thank you man if you're out there watching this video whoever you are man I appreciate you for the shoe man OG box and everything beautiful beautiful shoe man um, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of b-roll I'm gonna show you guys some of the other preludes I do have already in my collection. Give you guys a little bit of an off feet video as well, and we'll finish off the video there. I just wanted to make this quick, man, um, just to show you guys my recent pickup because I know Nike hasn't came out and said anything about any releases coming out. Yes, we heard the rumor about the Kobe 6 prelude, but I never heard Nike themselves say it. So who knows what they're coming out with, man. I don't know, maybe by Christmas we'll get something. We're already hitting October soon, so who knows, man. Um, Nike, if you're out there, man, what is going on? What are we, what's the next Kobe coming out, man? We're hearing about all these LeBrons and these pennies and all these other shoes, basketball shoes, but we're not getting any Kobe's, man. What's up? All right, guys, with that being said, let me get behind the camera, give you guys a little bit of a closer look 360 look of the shoe and we'll move on to the on feet and we'll finish off the video Alrighty, you guys here you have it the beautiful beautiful prelude um, Kobe one prelude um, Man, I mean 
there's so much I can say about this shoe. One thing I do want to ask you guys about is every shoe in the Prelude pack does have its own unique color and style and like um, patterns to them. Um, do you guys know what the pattern on this Kobe 1 means? I see, you know, these weird, like, I don't know, what is that? A fruit, a vegetable, a tomato, an apple? Do you guys know what all this stands for? These patterns, these drawings, these, uh, you know, like that number two right there? I mean, I would assume it stands for something or it has a meaning or story to it, but I just don't know. But this shoe, man, I mean, look at that. That snake print at the upper, just like the Kobe sixes. Clean, man. Beautiful, man. I, I'm glad I, I was able to get this shoe. Uh, like I said, it's not a shoe that I was looking for, but if I found it, if I got it for a good, decent price, in my opinion, I think it's uh, something good to have in your collection, especially as a, you know, Kobe fan. But let me give you guys just more of a quick rundown here. You know, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Then I'll move on and show you guys a little bit of my other preludes. That little small Kobe logo right at the bottom heel. Oh man. Not bad, man. Not bad at all, man. And I believe out of all the preludes, this is actually one of the ones that I seen Kobe wear on feet during a game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know I saw pictures of him wearing that. I did not see pictures of him wearing any of the other ones, which is crazy, right? Um, especially on court. Maybe he wore some of these other ones, but not on court. That one, I actually saw pictures. I might, you know what? I'm going to throw a picture at the end of this video because um, I'm sure I can find one where he's wearing this shoe on court. But there you have it, man. This is my small little prelude pack collection that I have and sorry for the lighting it is beginning to get a little bit um, darker here in California earlier um, earlier in the day so that's how we know that fall is here but yeah man I was able to get these two before his passing a while back um, beautiful shoes nonetheless these two I really wanted so I was looking forward to when I grabbed those that one i've had one pair before i beat it up maybe not beat it up but i left it maybe like five out of ten and i sold it and i was able to finally get it back in my collection because i was so mad that i sold it that one i really want another ds pair man i love that shoe man i'm an extremely fan a, a big fan of the kobe 8 model and i really want another pair of these but i want it brand new ds man if anyone has one out there please let me know man I love this shoe right here, man. This is something that I would wear that time. That will shoot every day if I could. But anyways, man, there you have it. I'm going to throw this on my feet, give you guys a little bit of sizing information, a little bit of, you know, on feet video footage, and uh, we'll finish off the video there. Once again, man, thank you. Thank you to everyone, man. Everyone out there, man, supporting me. Anyways, man, with that being said, um, there you have it. Let me throw these on and we'll finish off the video. Here you have it. As always, you guys, point of view, little angle from the top. Wanted to give you guys a little rundown on the sizing. They fit me true to size. Um, this is the OG pair. So it does fit me true to size. It's not a pro tro. And uh, yeah, man, I am extremely in love with the way this shoe looks, man. Like I said, man, I have always had this love and hate relationship with Kobe 1s um, because of the bulkiness, but I think that has left, man. I think I can actually rock these now without having to be a little bit insecure about the bulkiness and my skinny legs. So here you have it, man. If you guys are looking to cop these, I would suggest go true to size. They do have a little bit of a snug feeling to them. At least this pair does. Um, maybe it just needs to be broken in, but you know, I would probably recommend if you have a wider foot, maybe go half size up. Um, you know, if you could try it yourself, try on a pair, I would suggest do that first, just to kind of satisfy what you need for your 
you know foot and stuff like that but if you're looking to maybe double sock use a thick nba sock or something like that i will say maybe go half size up man but yeah man really in love with these man really glad i got this man i'm really happy but with that being said let me give you guys a little bit more footage on feet from the side view and we'll finish off the video there until next guy man peace